guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's up? My name's Danielle, nice to meet ya. Subscribe if you are new and join the Dan fam. It's a good time around here. <laughs> yes, I'm sitting in between two air vents. I was just like in the mood. <laughs> so I have this friend. <laughs> Her name's Tori Sterling. You guys might have heard of her before. And we were talking the other day and we were like talking about how we're getting ready for spring break and summer and how we want to look good in like our bathing suits and stuff. And she was telling me how she like does her workouts and I was telling her how I do my workouts and she's like, oh no, like what I do is definitely the best way to like get ready for summer. Like I have the best fitness routine. It's like down pat and I was like, oh girl, like sounds great, but like mine's definitely a little bit better. And then we were like, you know what? Let's have a competition. Let's have a collab competition. So Tori and I challenged each other to our fitness routines. We're gonna be showing you guys our fitness routines and kind of like what we wear and how we get ready for the gym. And you guys are gonna pick who's the winner. And the winner gets to prank the other person at Playlist Live. And not just like a little prank, like intense pranking. Like we're gonna get a pranking YouTuber to help us prank each other. So, vote for me. <laughs> So basically the way the voting's gonna go is you're gonna watch this video and you're gonna love it and you're gonna wanna vote for me of course, but then you're gonna go over to Tori's video, give her a chance, you know, see her fitness routine, and if you think that I won and you think that I have the best fitness routine to get ready for spring break, you're gonna go to her video and comment the letter D for Danielle. And if you think that Tori won, you're gonna come to my channel and you're gonna write a T in the comments for Tori. So you have to go over to her video for vote for me, and if you wanna vote for Tori, you have to comment in mine. Anyways, it's gonna be really awesome. I'm so excited to show you guys my fitness routine. It's kind of, I've gotten it down pat, so this is exactly what I do, and this is what I'll be doing until spring break and summer, just to kind of maintain that body shape and, you know, just feel good. But uh, yeah, Tori and I have been beefing a little bit, and we're just, we just need to have this challenge. So after this video, make sure to watch Tori's video and subscribe to her, she's pretty great. Her link will be down below to go watch her fitness routine and make sure to vote. Without further ado, let's get started. I cannot wait to show you guys my fitness routine. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get this thing started. So first off, water is super important. I love my swell bottle. It's got a marble print on it. I mean, what more, Danielle, could that water bottle be? But I just always feel so great at having water and being hydrated. It's super important. So always make sure to carry that around. I just thought I'd give that little PSA. And then to start off my workout, I always do some form of cardio. Today, I wanted to do a little run around the block. I think that's a great thing to do. However, when I go for runs, I kind of need to put my hair in a ponytail and get ready for the workout. Now that we got that all situated, the next step is music because I cannot work out without music. Otherwise, I stay so unmotivated. So I found this song. If you guys want to follow me on SoundCloud, my SoundCloud is linked down below. But I found this song. It's like a remix with a ton of different songs called Diplo and Friends, and it's 56 minutes long. So essentially, you could do an hour workout and just have this play. And oh my gosh, it's so inspiring. It's got all these cool beat drops and inspiring music and like cool fun hip-hop like it's a great deal do suggest again my link to my soundcloud is down below and then i just decided to film a dramatic you know start to my run but it's really nothing special i just run as much as i can i just run to the park and back um but yeah my mom was trying to keep up with me while i was filming this because my mom's the real mvp and she helped me film my, film my fitness routine so thanks mom Once I'm back from my run, well, I gotta hydrate. Water break. <laughs> now it's in. <laughs> now it's incline time. <laughs> I've been really into running upstairs lately, um, and I do it for two minutes. Here we go. It is such a great workout. It gets you so tired, but it works your legs, and it's like a little bit of cardio. And you can also skip steps if you want. And if you want, you can skip a step, and that's even more incline and more of a workout. And then I like to finish off with some jumping jacks. I don't know. When in doubt, I just kind of do jumping jacks. Usually, I'll like go up the stairs, come back down, jumping jacks, go up, go down, all that fun stuff. Then it's time for the main core leg, 
and arm exercises. I'm so blessed to live in the beautiful state of Florida and get to work out outside during the month of February. I know that's not possible for everyone, but I go out and I take my mat and this is the first workout that I do. I guess you could call them side lunges, but I add a little bit of a jump to them. Those look good for your legs or you can keep it going and make it a little faster like I'm doing there. And then I'm also doing these scissor squats. They're really, really fun and they definitely get you going. They get you working out there. <laughs> And then also, I just like to do the normal squats too. I think they're very effective and they're not too hard to do, but you know that you're doing something right for you. <laughs> and then these are always funny, but they're called sumo squats and they're great for your inner thighs. And that's something I'm always trying to strengthen and tone. And then I'm doing opposite crunches, I guess you could call them. And man, those work your core, let me tell you. And then I did some scissor kicks and some flutter kicks, which are all really good for your abs. Um, if you want those abs for spring break, you know. <laughs> and then I'm doing some reverse crunches as some more core workout. And as always, my Russian twists exercise. I love doing the Russian twist. It's just, it's a good one. As for arms, I did some tricep dips on this bench on my dock, actually, because um, I didn't bring my weights out with me, but sometimes I'll just use my 10-pounder weights and do some little arm exercises, but I decided to do a tricep dip today to be a little different. And then I like to end with a little yoga or some sort of salutation or stretching. Um, so I'll do some warrior poses and some tree poses and just to kind of bring my state back to uh, serenity and just kind of bring it all in. This is called the rag doll and it's just super fun and it's a great stretch because it's important to stretch after a workout because you're all warmed up and you don't want those muscles to get all tight again. So then as my mom says, because she's a yoga teacher, you have to come up vertebrae by vertebrae as you roll up and then when I'm done... I roll my neck a little bit and I feel in the peace and I'm just very calm and serene and I lift my arms up with joy and I'm done with my workout. So uh, what'd you think? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it somewhat informative and helpful. Comment down below any tips that you guys have. Make sure to go watch Tori's video now and see her fitness routine. And if you think that I have the best fitness routine, comment a D on her video. And if you think Tori had the best fitness routine, comment the letter D, I mean T, down below. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Woo!